According to the Richmond Times Dispatch, two Virginia men planned an open carry protest uh, on Facebook for the 4th of July. So what they were going to do is march through a uh, Virginia town and according to them, quote, stand up for the Second Amendment, man. So according to the organizers, the 4th of July was the perfect day to do this because of the symbolism of that, to have Independence Day go hand in hand with your rights, your rights to carry weapons down the street. Yeah, it's great. Now, uh, they even went a step above and beyond because they wanted people to carry all types of armament down the street. You know, whether it's rifles, pistols, shotguns, automatic weapons, uh, people had, uh, you know, one of those belts that had like a zillion bullets on it as well. I mean, just all around, they're trying to look like Rambo. You know, they think it makes them feel more manly and more powerful. And 300 people were expected to show up. And in total, how many people did they actually get to show up? Two. <laughs> how many stories have we done like this? It's at the point we get at least one a month. What was it? Operation American Spring, where conservatives actually thought they would get President Obama to step down and leave the White House. They're like, well, you know, uh, conservative number, we expect 10 million people there, probably get about 30 million people to show up. And then, uh, according to some reports, it was less than 100 people that showed up. I mean, the epic failure is beyond description. Well, this is yet another example right here. And the problem is, look, man, they always take it too far. I keep trying to explain to these idiots that they naively think that everybody in the country agrees with them, and in reality, very, very few people agree with them. Because, again, in their mind, they think, well, everybody wants me to be able to carry an AR-15 down the street with my buddy who's carrying a double-barrel shotgun and my other buddy who has two pistols and two rifles. Like, it, you can be somebody who supports guns, but still say, I really don't want you walking down the street with that stuff because I'm here with my daughter and she's having some ice cream and I don't want her to get scared. You know, this isn't, this isn't what civilized people do. So they don't get it. They always take it too far. And just to further buttress our point here, when you look at the polls, people are overwhelmingly with us. So, ABC News and Washington Post poll found that 65% of Americans support a ban on high-capacity magazines. Which, again, by the way, Chris Christie just vetoed a bill that banned high-capacity magazines made the maximum number uh, 10 rounds. A CNN poll found that 62% of Americans want to ban assault weapons. And that's considered uber-liberal. Oh, that's so far left, nobody would agree with that, except 62% of the American people, that's an overwhelming majority, agree with that. More people want to ban assault weapons, at least according to this CNN poll, than people want to, wanting to legalize gay marriage, which is 58%, 59%. And by the way, it's the same ballpark for legalizing marijuana. So more people want to ban assault weapons than uh, do those things. So there's tremendous support for it. A Quinnipiac poll found that 92% of the American people support universal background checks. But probably the most overwhelming evidence of all is the poll of the NRA members. Because people, again, they naively think, well, obviously everybody wants me to carry around a rocket launcher and have biological and chemical weapons and F-22s. No, you son of a bitch. 71% of NRA members believe people on the terrorist watch list should be prevented from purchasing guns. Now, that one's a no-brainer, but keep in mind, the way the laws are right now, if you are on the terrorist watch list, you can legally get a gun. Gee, you think that's a problem? Even the NRA is against it. 74% of NRA members favor universal background checks. 74% of NRA members. 75% of NRA members believe concealed carry permits should only be granted to applicants who have not committed any violent misdemeanors, including assault. And the best of all, 74% of NRA members believe permits should only be granted to applicants who have completed gun safety training. Okay? That's 74% of NRA members. Now, realize something. 
The whole idea of a permit comes from the word permission. Permission as in not a right. So even NRA members say it's not really a right for you to walk around with a weapon in public. You know, what are you doing? You're going to carry the heavy armament down the middle of the street when I might be out here with my family? What the fuck is wrong with you? You shouldn't be doing that. They're saying, are you kidding me? You should have to go through a gun safety training class. There should be levels of vetting. There should be universal background checks. There should You should uh, make people take tests. And the list goes on and on. So the reason why these conservative uh, blowhards keep failing is nobody actually agrees with them. They overestimate how popular their positions are, and if they would simply look at the polls, they would realize that they're wrong.